And uh, there's always one person in the class that's a head more mature than the rest. We had one such person who had a forest on his chest, <laughs> under his arm, and well ahead down here, well ahead. <laughs> well ahead. This is as rude as I get, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I thought I'd get it over with. And uh, he used to smoke in the break and shave in the break and <laughs> he got 10 out of five. <laughs> it's one of the highest marks ever awarded for maturity at our school. I got half out of five. <laughs> and the maths teacher we had had a really big nose, really big nose. And his name was Gibson, so backwards, that's Nosbig. <laughs> <laughs> That's how our minds used to work in those days. <laughs> anyway, some, one day when the sun coming through, a low sun, he was chalking up on the board and the shadow of his nose was about 12 feet long on the board. You know, how can you learn maths under those conditions? <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? Thanks for laughing, by the way, that's great, thanks. <laughs> I need, I need laughs. Gr grins are no good. <laughs> I can get those walking down the road. <laughs> I could have been an actor, really. I'm a bit actory, aren't I? <laughs> or blind date. Half time. <laughs> Whistle there. Sorry. You know when you're making toast? <laughs> I just float around. I, d I don't know what I do really. But <coughs> I just flit around, you know, and get on with things. I got fed up one day with making toast the normal way, cutting the slices the normal way. So, so I, I cut it long ways, big, big long slices, you know. You know, that's how I am. That's how I am. I've, you know. I mean, I've got a wok, and I boiled an egg in it. No. <laughs> just, uh, just different, I'm different. You know. I have beans under toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I have Clint, a bit of Clint Eastwood in me, people have said. They said, you like, a lot of people say that, especially as I'm getting older now, they're saying, you're more like Clint every day, Norm, you know. And I am a bit, I am. Feeling fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> camera there, the handheld camera man who does that. That's hard work. So you've got to carry it around on your shoulder, you know, and, and run around and, you know, it's hard work. I'm happy, you know, doing this. I'm glad I'm not doing, doing that. It's good at it, good at it. I mean, I get tired just wearing a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so you cut the toast, but you've got to grill it. You can't put it in a toaster, those long slices. It just doesn't work. You do one end, you do the other end, and there's a bit left in the middle, so... <laughs> you get that. But, you know, a great big slice of toast. You butter it, and it's really heavy. It's, oh, it's bloody... So it doesn't really work. It's not workable. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> Just thought I'd tell you about it, that's all. There's another toast method. This is expensive, mine, but, you know, if you've got a few pennies to spare one, one day, just have a go at it. Cut one end of the loaf, take all the dough out, <laughs> get, lose the crust, flatten it, make it square, toast that, both sides, and that's high-density toast, that is... <laughs> Nice stuff. <laughs> oh dear. No man's an island. Ex 
except when he's having a bath. Haircuts annoy me sometimes. Oh, the bug's back again, for Christ's sake. Jack the Ripper will turn up in a minute. <laughs> Here's one. Here's something. Just remember this. You know you, you get your shoes repaired, healed and sold because you wear the ends out as you walk along. I'll do a little walk and show you. Show you. <laughs> if you take short steps, They don't wear at all. No, no shoe repair bills at all. You know, save a, save a lot of money. The only problem is you're so late for work, and financially it just doesn't work. But on some days, if you want to try it, save a bit of soul. It's a good idea. And also backache. Cats and dogs never get backache because they're on all fours, and we put a lot of pressure on our spines. That's why we get backache. So walk around on all fours for a couple of days. It'll help your back. It will. It's just in the shops you'll have trouble getting served. That's okay. Cool, doesn't that spinach shrink when you cook it? I was going out to get some spinach the other day. I was walking along, I had my suitcase. And someone said, are you going on holiday? I said, no, I'm just going to get some spinach. Oh, it does shrink. <laughs> so, go and get me hair cut. I get very cross when I go because there's never any balding hairstyles on the wall. Where I'm... <laughs> it's always young blokes with hair starting about here. You know. <laughs> oh, thanks very much. That's, that's got support there. That's what I like. Almost like a radical comedian, aren't I? <laughs> This tea's a bit weak. That's as political as I get. <laughs> so I go in, I moan to the hairdresser, say, come on, where's these balding hairstyles? I mean, let's, let's. And they say, Do, you know, just sit, in, just sit down, Mr. Lovett, you'll get your usual discount. You know? <laughs> that, that, that makes me angry as well, you know. Kind of and to top it all, I mean, it's all very well going bald. Then, then the sideburns went out, you know, suddenly no one, sideburns gone, you know. Because it always grows well there. You never see anyone bald there, do you? But... From Pulitzer Prize winning author Alex Haley comes the television event that burned deeply into the consciousness of a nation. Roots, the next generations, a true family saga that spans two wars overseas, bigotry and hard times at home, the end of innocence, and the easy times of a new era. Henry Fonda and Marlon Brando star in Roots, The Next Generations, Sunday at 8 on Sky One. Well, that was time well spent. And here's why. Just look at that. The most delicious thing on television. Besides me. There are certain rules you might follow when painting, but not when you're using Crown Advance. It's a rich, creamy emulsion that covers in just one coat. Advance from Crown. Paint that rewrites the rules. When it comes to watching the grass grow, he's truly world class. <coughs> But today, he's not himself. And in case that gives him indigestion later on, I keep tons in my toolbox. They come in three fruit flavours, so he'll even feel good about taking them. And unlike some people I know, tums are effective. Tum, 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 tum. Fruit flavoured settlers' tums. You are at an age where you have to think seriously about your future. We are all the product of the choices we make. The 
ATP comes to Monte Carlo, and tomorrow at 6, Sky Sports brings you coverage of play in a championship big enough to bring back the veteran Borg. The final from Monte Carlo, brought to you by Head. Tuesday, have we got a perfect prescription for the blues? I get off in about 30 minutes. It's okay. I've been working out. <laughs> Comedy that'll have you in stitches. Barbara and I are spending the weekend in Vermont. I'm never really sure of the right amount of surgical tubing to bring on these intimate weekends. Tuesday at 7.30, Doctor, Doctor. Diva, diva, diva. That's all, folks. On Sky One. This is good, look, can it pick that up? That's an effect, it's a sort of effect. It's, it's a real wooden pencil, and, and, and it looks like, you know, I'm going like, it's made of rubber, it's not. <laughs> uh, I, love the, I love that trick. <laughs> and that one as well, I do. Don't I? <laughs> I mean, I know lots of people can do it, but I can do it well. You know, <laughs> you know it's good at parties to do that one because uh, it's the best way of getting rid of people. I know that it really is. You just go up to someone and say, "Look, look," <laughs> and they're off. They're, they're, uh, yeah, the smoking. Best way to stop smoking in in your next life is to come back as a fish. Except a flying fish, because a flying fish could sort of have cigarettes and lighter in a little polythene bag and sort of just <laughs> just nip out for one, you know. <laughs> just... I don't know what they look like. Something like that. Just, <laughs> just nip out for a quick one. <laughs> flying fish. Imagine cooking a flying fish in the frying pan and suddenly it comes alive and flies off, you know. That would give you a shock, wouldn't it? <laughs> Chase after it with a frying pan and give it a big whack on the head. Say, come here you, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> Penguins are funny. I'd like to come back as a penguin. They just stand around with their friends, just going, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me another. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you think, they say, or that's what you think they're doing. There's more to the penguins. Oh, God, I can't even speak. <laughs> There's more to penguins than that. Oh, I've got my sweeteners here. So what? <laughs> they just stand around, penguins. So. But they don't really, because when the camera crews aren't there, <laughs> they get out guitars, and <laughs> drinking and smoking and everything. They're crazy dudes. <laughs> Crazy sons of guns. I get invited to parties, as you can imagine, you know, what with my thumb trick and everything. <laughs> I went to a party recently and <clears throat> was at the food table, uh, looking at the sausages with the sticks in and the pineapple chunks and cheese. Whoever thought of that idea, eh? Whoever thought of that? Oh, yeah. No one ever has them. They're always there at the end, aren't they? The cheese and pineapple. Always there. I had a few chipolatas. I like those. Once you get started on those, you, you, know, you tend to go on and eat, eat, eat more. Eat, 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 eat more. <laughs> like one of those videos, pop song, rap things, you know. Lovely music on top of the pops now, isn't it? Really good stuff. <laughs> oh. 
Anyway, I was uh, eating away and I had lots of these chipolatas and I put all the sticks into one chipolata so till it wouldn't take any more sticks. It was like a little hedgehog there, it was. Uh, <laughs> and it was very realistic. It even walked away. I mean, it was, uh, <laughs> There's a couple of Hooray Henrys standing nearby, chortling away they were, going, ho, 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 ho. And I kept away from them because uh, I don't like them very much. But they're silly, aren't they? Pranks, pranks. Yeah. Drinking away. And one of them sat in a swivel chair and the other one swiveled him round really fast, going, tee hee, hee, <laughs> spin, spin. Because they really know how to enjoy themselves. <laughs> I just sort of hung loose at the party, you know, just digging the music. Uh, had a little bit of lager or something, just, you know, just chilling out, you know. Stupid <laughs> <laughs> things people say. <laughs> Make me laugh. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't dance. I mean, uh, if I dance, I do all the dances at once and I just disrupt the whole party because I... <laughs> I get right into it, you know, really get, get it on. It's hard work as well. Anyway, the Hooray Henry was getting very ill. He was turning green and all sorts of colours. And, <laughs> and uh, I nipped upstairs. I thought, well, I'll, I'll go to the lavatory now. I feel like going, I'll, so I'll go, you know. I was in that sort of mood, you know, just... And it's a good job I did because the Hooray Henry started being very ill indeed. You know, <laughs> like a Catherine wheel effect. It was. <laughs> very messy sequence it was. Anyway, I went up the stairs and on the stairs I met this big man, big beard, long hair and big bottle of whiskey with about that much left, you know. Levi jacket, Levi's, big boots, Cuban heel boots. Do you know the type? Um, do you know him? <laughs> but the angry man at the party, and uh, he sort of stood in front of me. I couldn't really get by, you know. He said, where are you coming from, man? I said, no, it's Norman. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't laugh at all. He didn't laugh at all. <laughs> I tried to break the ice with him a bit, you know, saying that all those flares and the wide ties and everything in the 70s, you know, I said it must have been because they had a lot of material around then, you know, uh, yeah, that's my theory on it, and I said long hair, I said isn't it handy if you've got sticky out ears to cover them up, it's handy isn't it, you know, and he swept back his hair and one of the biggest ears I've ever seen <laughs> appeared and I sort of nipped under it and, and locked myself in the lavatory, oh I was scared, <laughs> And I went in there and I did number ones. No, I know, I'm rude again, I'm rude again. Yeah, here I go. <laughs> I, just get, I just go mad, don't I, at times. And when you, do, <laughs> when you do number ones, you're either white or yellow in, in, in colour of liquid. I expect you know that, but there's two colours, basically. If there's any other colours, you've got problems, obviously. <laughs> so I, I went, it was going away there, and... Uh, they had that blue rinse stuff in the system, so it's all blue, you know. And I was yellow. And when yellow goes into blue, it turns green. I went home after that. <laughs> I've thought of a way now of getting rid of all the litter, the cans and everything. You serve everything neat crisps, you just serve it in a little shovel, they just, kids come along and say, what do you want, a shovel full of crisps, okay, give us your money, right, open your mouth, <laughs> next, and the same with Coke, Coke, diet, or the get fat Coke, <laughs> <laughs> which one do you want, do you want to get fat, okay, two litres, okay, and it comes, <laughs> next, that's it, no cans, no crisp papers, clean, nothing clean. And I wish manners as well. I mean, the, the milk carton annoys me when it says, open other side. It never says, please. <laughs> I mean, I'm not asking for a lot, really. I'm not saying, dear Norman, we think you're fantastic, but could you just open this carton on the other side? 
all the best, the, the milk people, you know. <laughs> oh, dear Norman, you can open this wherever you like, because we like you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. I do gigs, I've done gigs. Oh, this, look at it now. <laughs> oh, oh. Probably won't even show on the TV and no one's going to know what I'm talking about. It's silly. Isn't it? It's funny like that, isn't it? Funny, a funny old, funny old business it all is. But there was a gig I did at, um, in, on the Thames, a, a pub on the Thames called the Star and Garter. And there was a basement place years and years ago. And I did this gig to about 30 people and we all enjoyed ourselves fabulously. Anyway, after at the bar, I was talking to a couple. <laughs> I was talking to this young couple of art students, boy and girl, or man and woman, you should say, Norman. <laughs> art students. And they were talking about my words being colours and me painting a canvas on the stage. And I could relate to it. I said, yes, yes, you're right in a way, in a, in a way, yes. And I went back to their flat in South London somewhere, about on the fifth floor, and we went back and uh, had coffee, and they rolled one of those r long cigarettes. One of those wrong cigarettes. Could, could have been right there, hey? <laughs> anyway, that's no good to me, that stuff. I'm slow enough as it is. <laughs> Just makes me go stationary. <laughs> and we got talking about, oh, the world and problems and everything. And in the end, it got to about three or four in the morning and I slept on the couch. They said, stay, you know, now and get a train or bus in the morning. And I said, okay, that's cool, you know. Well, you know, I was being a bit hip, but, you know. Was, you tend to put it on a bit, don't you, with different people you meet. You go, oh, yeah, hey, how you doing? Okay, yeah. That's how I talk to my bank manager. <laughs> 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 no, I don't. I say, Hello, how are you? That's how I do it. No, no I don't. <coughs> it's bad tonight, this throat. Why, how many you got? <laughs> that was an ad lib. <laughs> <laughs> Hecklers are funny, aren't they? <laughs> I had a shy heckler once. <laughs> you're, you're not very funny, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> then to another extreme, I did a heavy metal gig and I opened for this heavy metal band and a bloke leapt on with one of those chainsaws <laughs> and cut me right down the middle. <laughs> I did two shows that night. <laughs> Anyway, so I slept on the couch. She woke me up in the morning and she had a cup of coffee, showed me some of the pictures and she, and she said, he's still in bed, let's go and wake him up. I said, oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> so I went into the bedroom and it was all red, these red curtains and the light coming through and it was all red and I, and I, I said, this red's a bit much of a colour to wake up to, isn't it? It hits you a bit, doesn't it? And she said, well, when you look out of the curtains, look through the curtains in the morning, it's like coming out of the womb, like a freshly born child into life each day, you know. That's how she saw it. And then I thought to myself, I've got brown curtains in my bedroom. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. embarrassing they said you've got to stand at the end you, know, you normally you just walk off and go oh you know that, you know that that's that's that hurt me that did thank you very much good night thank you would you pose as a former rolling stones drummer for 60 pounds do you feel that was a big break Yes. How about 20 pounds for making a goose of yourself? Can you help me out, could you? All you'd have to do is just sit inside the machine and when, a, you know, when somebody comes up to buy a drink, you just have to respond to them. We're dispensing the laughs on the outrageous anything for money. Mm.
It's 16 foot, you see. Crocodiles can be a bit funny, you know. Wednesday on Sky One. Insane all day. Me too. Is this stain the greatest? Eight losses. Do you think there's a chance of divine inspiration? Carlsberg, please. Probably. Temptingly thick, even more frantically fruity, and as ludicrously low in fat as ever. Shape yogurt from St. Ivor. You'll be surprised how easy it is to get into shape. From simplicity size one and two towels, to Simplicity Nighttime Towels. From individually wrapped size one and slim towels to pant liners. Simplicity gives you the confidence to take everything in your stride. Simplicity. Take everything in your stride. Join the outrageous in living color. It's comments like that which have made you an outcast in society. No wonder all the other kids hate your guts. Say it, don't spray it. I want the news, not the weather. I got the coat down. Who got the peanut butter? If you were food, you'd be my muffin. And if you were a turkey, I'd give you my stuffing. I'd pop my pimples because they asked me to. In Living Color, Thursday at 7.30 on Sky One. This is Sky One, a part of the British Sky Broadcasting Network.